question um, has to do with the, the semi-autobiographical nature of the film. Can you talk about the genesis of the story? Uh, the genesis of the story is, uh, is, is it, it's, it's, a, it's a long story because really it has its roots way back to a movie I made in the mid-90s called Cold Water, which used characters with the same names in a similar context, but it was a very different film. It's, but it only it was a um, uh, it was a, a movie that uh, has been very important in, for me in my career, but it, it is still, uh, I had this lingering feeling that something was missing from the film, and what was missing of the film basically was what was so important for me during those years, during the 1970s, you know, how, uh, how I, uh, you know, I was, uh, I, I had this calling I, to become a, a more of a visual, visual artist than a filmmaker, and, and how this uh, um, vocation kind of shifted, moved, and, be, and, and, and attracted me to filmmaking. Plus, uh, you know, of course, the whole ambient of the 1970s, the politics, the counterculture, I mean, all things that, A, were important for me, and B, had never really been uh, um, uh, represented in, in movies. I, I, I thought it was a kind of cinematic virgin territory, so, so, so uh, I, I thought there was something challenging and kind of exciting, because, you know, no one had really, like, like nailed it. And, uh, um, and, and, and I thought that uh, uh, if I wanted to represent that period, it's so, you know, uh, it's, 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 it's a generation away, but it's kind of present, everybody has his own idea of what the 70s were, were about, and I think if I wanted to represent, to get them right, I, I had to use a, a first-hand experience and try to recreate my own emotion, my own feeling, but that was very much the starting point. You know, it's what I kind of build on, something that is, I hope, broader than that, which is more about a generation than a person. And, you know, the film is, is called, the, the French version of, it's called, the title is Après May, after, you May. Know, after May, is the translation. Uh, of course, you know, regarding the, the, the May riots of 1968, but the film is set in 1971. So, why that period after? Why the... the um, it's, uh, uh, May 68 was, of course, pretty much a defining moment in modern French history, but it was, it was, it was both when uh, the change, that the, the, the transformation of society that was going on in basically a, 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 all over the world, I mean, through some kind of the uprising of youth, um, uh, um, happened in France. And in France, it happened in a more violent, more extreme way, and it took a shape of an almost revolution. Uh, and, um, uh, and, and like all historical events, it was debated at the time, it's still debated now, what exactly happened, we don't, uh, we, we, we don't know. But it's still the focus of the reflection on that period in terms of history. And, uh, and, uh, uh, and whatever was going on in the early 70s is supposed to be some kind of aftermath of, of, of uh, May 68, like the fading of the hopes of the of, of 68, something like that, when um, my memory is that it was very different in the sense that uh, um, uh, it was an era, a period of hope, of belief, of utopia. It's because we were not living in the nostalgia of what had happened three years earlier. We were living in 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 the um, expectation of the future that was to come. You know, we, it, it, well, it was uh, uh, May sixty eight was. A I mean, in our perception, a failed revolution, but the one that was coming would be like the big one, <laughs> and uh, and uh, and we wanted to be part of it. We we uh, uh, and uh, uh, and be because the, the uprising of May '68 opened so many doors for the younger generation, for the kids of the seven in the '70s and the, 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 the period when I grew up. Everything was open. I mean, all of a sudden there were options that young people never had. I mean, there was a there was a sense of freedom. There were no rules anymore. It was okay to drop out of 
school, it was okay to cut off time with your family, it was okay to travel to, uh, you know, to Africa, to the, to the Orient or wherever, I mean, it was okay not to want to work, not to have a job, um, and um, it were, people were, were kind of experimenting with life. And, and, and that was what was really exciting about that, that period and that and has been kind of overlooked because, it, because it's, it's, it, 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 those early 70s are ultimately like a, a blind spot in, 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 in recent history. Mm. Was, was there ever a, a radical filmmaking collective that you were a member of? Um, no, uh, but I was pretty close to people who were involved in those kind of uh, in that kind of filmmaking. I mean, a lot of the uh, a, a lot of the aspiring filmmakers from that generation went through this kind of uh, the, the, that, that phase. I mean, luckily or unluckily, I did not because I was not in film school. But but, but uh, most of the militant filmmaking of those years were people from my generation who were in film school and who did not want to be in the, to, 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 to work in the, in the industry and the only way they could connect their, their, their uh, desire to become filmmaker was by uh, connecting uh, uh, what they were doing with politics. Yeah. And, uh, because you know it was a period when, where arts and politics were completely impossible to dissociate and, 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 and that applied to cinema. Yeah, that's one of the things that, that I think is so wonderful and really interesting about the film, the, the way in which there's this struggle for the character to reconcile mm -hmm. that those, the political yes. and aspirations and ideals and, and artistic aspirations, that struggle. Was that, that something that you felt as you were painting? It's, yes, I mean, it's, it's uh, we, was, we, we felt we were still part of the history of the 20th century. And the history of the 20th century is pretty much about how art and politics are one and the same thing. I mean, they, this is, is, is essential if you want to understand the painting, I mean, the avant-garde, the evolution, the radical evolution of painting throughout the 20th century. If you want to understand what happened in, the, in theater, in literature, or even in music. And, uh, and, and uh, so we felt we were still part of that history uh, and that we had to figure out our own connection with the politics of the time and, and, and our art. And, um, and it, 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 of course it was uh, something that was uh, also something that was a very heavy burden to, on, your, on your shoulders, uh, especially when you're, you're, you're a teenager and you, you want to draw, you want to paint, you want to become an artist in a, in a way or another. You were, you were held accountable to whatever you wanted to do. Uh, by the, 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 your, your friends who were um, focused uh, on politics. And what, you know, it, it was like, I mean, well, what have you done for the working class today? Yeah, you know. <laughs> it's good sometimes, though, to be held accountable. Yes, yes, yes. oh yes, you know, no, but it, it, of, of course it is. And, and that's why I kind of, you know, it's, 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 it's an important part of the film in the sense that I don't have the correct answer to those questions, but I know that I, I come from the world, I grew up in a world, became myself in a world where those questions are important. And in a way or another, you have to uh, consider them. That, that brings me to, I wanted to, to talk about the casting, because I think, um, the young actors are just mm -hmm. are just wonderful. Um, can you talk about? Casting well, yes, it's 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 uh, it it was a it was a very particular sort of casting in the sense in the sense that we were not looking for actors, <laughs> we were, we were looking for individuals. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, the, the the way you approached it was very much based on the uh, on, on on this conviction that uh, rebellious youth from any generation has something very solid in common. And I was looking for kids who were, in a way or another, rebellious, who, who had that in them and who, in that sense, could connect with the spirit of the 1970s. Not that common today. I mean, kind of difficult to uh, 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 find. Uh, and, uh, and then I started asking myself if they could act or not. <laughs> that was <laughs> the, the second, second part of the search. And then, in, in terms of um, the script, was that something that changed once you had the, the individuals, the actors? Yes, it evolved. It, 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 it evolved, but, but the, 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 the screenplay has a strange uh, history. I mean, it's in the, in the, in the sense that, uh, how should I put it? It's, it's been a very flexible part of the evolution of this film because when I when I started writing it, I thought I would if I was getting myself into something epic. I thought it was you know it was going to be a, this kind of big movie about the 
the gener that generation of the 1970s. I thought it would be a lot of dialogue and all that. And when, when I started writing on it, I realized I did not want to dialogue. I wanted to, you know, to, to keep things as simple, as, uh, as, uh, as sharp as possible. I, so I kind of, you know, erasing, erasing, erasing all the psychology out of the, out of the film just to stay with the facts, stay with the... And, and uh, so the, the film became much more uh, um, dense much more uh, uh, concise than whatever I had imagined, and it started growing again when we started pre when we be began preparing the film because I realized that ultimately so much of what was going on in the film was also about getting the setting right, getting the collective scenes right, getting the details right, and and uh, and, and and it was very obvious that I would have to spend more time than what I imagined getting whatever connected those kids right, uh, and it was as important or eventually more important than the, the emotional the emotions or the or the or the, 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 the um, uh, sentimental issues uh, in, from in their relationships. Well, I do want to take some questions from the audience before um, this evening. Um, Folks, questions? Yes. Yes, you're in the middle. Oh, can, yes. there was a lot of fire <laughs> in the film, and uh, it seemed to be a theme, and I just wondered what you were saying with the fire. Um, it kind of happened on its own, and, I, and, I, and, I, and, I, and uh, at some point I, 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 I decided to keep it. It's, it, it, it. I don't know if it happens to other writers, but for me, um, I realized that when I'm writing a screenplay, for some reason there's a theme, a specific, uh, there's, there's a specific element that keeps on coming back and it's like some kind of uh, underground theme throughout the whole film and, uh, and it's, it's not something I'm, I'm only half conscious of, it. it's only when the screenplay is finished that I realize, oh my god, there's a lot of fire in this film and, uh, and uh, it's even more present, of course, when, you, when, when, when you're shooting and uh, I, 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 I thought there was a message there. I thought that unconsciously, uh, it, 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 it was my way of connecting with, uh, in a poetic way, with whatever youth is about. Youth is, uh, is always about uh, uh, consuming itself, and it's also the fire of youth, you know, the energy uh, uh, of, of, of a generation, this energy you have when you discover the world and, and you, 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 you want to, to challenge it, you want to question it. So, so, it's, um, I just, uh, you know, uh, and, and back in the back of my mind, I just don't, I hoped I would not get that question. <laughs> did, did the girl in the, the house die in the fire? Um, she disappears. <laughs> uh, I mean, she, she, it's, uh, uh, yes, she does. The, the use of music was, was fantastic in the film, and I was wondering if, um, if you'd kind of planned ahead of time a lot of the tracks and a lot of the scoring that you were going to use, or if it, you wrote it all to some of the music. Um, I did not really write it down. I mean, it's, still, it's only the Sid Barrett song that's pretty much part of the, that is in the screenplay, because, you know, it's obviously we plays with the, 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 the Jack the, the sleeve, the, the record sleeve, but... Um, but um, yes, because I don't like to have uh, any kind of preconceived idea of the music uh, I was I am going to use. But then it came very naturally because when when once when I started editing, um, every uh, I my my intuition was to use the music that uh, was the soundtrack for me of those years. I mean, it was the music I was actually listening to, to, the, to in, in those years. I thought it would not work. I thought it was too obvious in many ways, but then it was not obvious at all. It kind of did fit perfectly into the film in the sense that all those tracks are like time capsules for me. I mean, they, they kind of, you know, they, they just connect so much with the emotions of the character. They connect so much with whatever I was trying to express. And uh, it's 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 like some kind of a musical self-portrait of the of the of, 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 of the music I was you know, of who I was and how I related to music at that age. Uh, ultimately, it is, if, if there is a straightforward autobiographical element in the film, maybe it, it might be the music. 